What is a VLAN? VLAN is called Virtual Local Area Network. VLANs can keep network applications separate despite being connected to the same physical network, and without requiring multiple sets of cabling and networking devices to be deployed. VLAN can be configured through software instead of physically relocating devices or connections. VLAN can wrap these devices in a virtual domain that means even if the physical locations of these devices are in different locations, they will not be affected. VLAN is the combination of computers and other network devices. Because VLAN will wrap these devices in a virtual domain, these devices will appear to be part of a single domain, even if they are not in the same physical location. In this example, different computers represent different colors in different groups like help desk, HR and billing. Without a VLAN or in a regular network setup, transmission of all packets from groups will be mixed together. Each group will see the data transmitted by other group. And if you are a good network administrator, you would differentiate the traffic between different groups, so that the HR department can't see the traffic from the billing department, the billing group also cannot see the flow of the HR and so on. One way to do that is to add separate physical network equipment and connecting lines but this will be a lot of unnecessary work. An alternative and a better solution is to use VLAN. Use VLAN and its exclusive switch to create multiple virtual domains to separate the traffic between different departments. When the VLAN is built, the traffic of the groups is separated. The different groups do not see the packets transmitted by other groups. They will only see the packets or data transmitted by their own group, even if all groups use the same network cable and switch. Steps to set up a VLAN Choose a valid VLAN number Choose a private IP address range for devices on that VLAN to use Configure the switch device with either static or dynamic settings In static configurations, the administrator assigns a VLAN number to each switch port In dynamic configurations, the administrator assigns a list of MAC addresses or usernames to a VLAN number Configure routing between VLANs as needed. Configuring two or more VLANs to communicate with each other requires the use of either a VLAN-aware router or a Layer 3 switch. Advantages of VLAN VLANs removes latency in the network, which saves network resources and increases network efficiency. VLANs are cost-effective and scalable. VLANs are flexible compared to physical non-virtual networking solutions, VLANs help in network management by segregating and organizing the networks and decrease the amount of administrative oversight required. Disadvantages of VLAN Managing VLANs is equal to manage different LANs and also, each switch port must be configured to access specific VLANs or being a trunk. Prone to security issues like MIM attack and sniffing. High risk of virus issues because one infected system may spread a virus through the whole logical network.